Two fielders on the onside for Abdullah Shafiq. He will need to create an impact. Ball on the pads, maybe missing the leg stump. Nonetheless, a strong appeal by Shanawaz Ali Dhani. Looking at UMT Markovs this afternoon. On the pads, but this is what Imam Ul-Haq is capable of. A pitch of a delivery by Shanawaz Ali Dhani. He is capable of. Once again on the pads and he will pay the price. Shanawaz Ali Dhani, two fielders are converging, but no stopping to that one. Wow, shipping it away from Abdullah Shafiq, who must be tentative. The game awareness, the planning, oh, that's for trying too hard, Imran Jr. What a delivery by Imran. Short ball to Abdullah Shafiq off the back foot and two bounces over the boundary rope. Solid response by Abdullah. Four runs. Similar will have to be done by Imam Al-Haq. Nicely driven, beautiful. That is a top class shot by Imam Al Haq. That on drive will earn him a boundary. Kone Ariel, straight down the ground, couple of bounces into the fence. Abdullah Shafiq on the charge. Once again, full in the zone, in the half of the batter, and he takes advantage. Goes past the edge, almost knocking the top bail off. Full toss goes aerial. No fielder in that direction, and it won't have mattered anyway because it's gone all the way. And he's on to 33. And this is one to hit, and he hits it on the full to the boundary. And umpire will check, but I think it's a six. It seemed to be well, it would have hit the the skirting on the full, it just caught the top end of that tobler on, so the signal will come, and indeed it has significant knock today. Spawn the gap, go fetch that, it will hit the fence, no protection in that area. And strong appeal here as well, a bit of shake off head by the umpire. Excellently. Here yeah, runs for batsman, long chase for Imran Jr. In the end, he bumped into the advertisements holding, but done well. And a good shot down the ground. A long chase for the fielder, he will not be able to stop that one. This time a short ball, acres of gap on the onside, a huge chase for the fielder. No chance whatsoever. Didn't see any big celebrations for Imam. It's his 31st first class 50. And here comes 50 for Abdullah Shafiq. His 7th 50 in Lissay cricket. His back and form crucial for not only for Nurpur Lions, also for Pakistan. He has supported his partner brilliantly, and Abdullah Shafiq gets to his 50. As an opener, Abdullah averages almost 40. And that's in the air, and that's gone. Zahid Mahmood on this occasion. The ploy worked for UMT Marcos into the hands of Salman Ali Aga as if he was waiting for that gift to be taken. Another 50 coming to an end by Imam Al Haq. What a piece of a delivery by Imran and Hav out of nowhere. <laughs> And this has gone up in the air. Abdullah Shafiq chancing his arm and is taken. Spoke too soon about him. The temptation, Babar Azam said, you've got to hold on to that temptation to go big. Easy. Oh, that's a good start. Very good start. That is thumped through extra cover for four. That is a superb start by Taha. Oh, that's beautifully... Pulled. That is a fantastic shot. Everyone else, how it is done. Oh, what a shot. What a pickup that is. This boy is talent. He is majestic. Concentration. But, uh, oh, what a great shot that is. Just a touch shot in length and he cuts it. You should be able to look at the opponents, look at your own team situation. 
Picked up beautifully over the head of the fielder. One bounce and over the ropes. Lindros cast it and almost, almost carried. There is a chance. Oh no. And what did Imran Jr., what were you trying to do, my friend? Who would be eyeing this one? Down the track, over the head. Fantastic batting by Umar bin Yusuf. Once again, swept in the air. One bounce over the boundary rope. Shot is in the air. Just fell short of the fielder. You would feel that the, the fielder didn't quite pick it up. Right from the get-go, when the shot was played, it was always dying towards him. And almost reached it. Covered for the lost ground as well, Shafiya sir. <laughs> Chance. And the finger has gone up. The nod of the hat came before that. And if the car has broken through. Front foot, back foot, but this time he went for a big booming reverse sweep. Trapped right in front of the stems. If the car was confident right from the get-go. Confirmation from the umpire as well. And a crucial partnership has been broken. In the air and gone. Salman Ali Aga wouldn't miss those. The pressure was building and Taha falls into that category of the batters who've got to start and throws it away. Taha played in the air and this time he was not lucky enough to clear the field out within the circle. Played right in the lap of Salman Ali Aga. Second catch of the evening for the safe hands of Aga. Taha contributed with 31. That's pulled. And pulled beautifully in the gap. That's connected well and all the way. Makes it look so simple, Khosh Del Shah, whenever he gets that connection. If Takhar was shocked, was not expecting it. That is huge. That is big. And again. And again for a six. How good is this by Khosh Dil Shah? Picking up the length beautifully. That's true. Imran Khan won't be able to cut that one. That's a boundary for Irfan Khan Niazi. Switch it. Four four. Innovation. Wow, what a shot. What a shot. That has gone all the way. Very close. Dani thinks it's out. Umpire thinks otherwise. Backs off, plays it over the head of the point fielder. One bounce and over the boundary line. Oh, nice use of crease on that occasion from Irfan and slaps that one for four. Another big one. Another six. Oh, this time slapped away for four. And that is brilliant from Irfan Niazi. Well, it goes big once again. Over mid wicket for another six towards the short boundary. Brilliantly bowled. Brilliantly bowled. He's going through one. 50 for Khoshdil. 33 balls to get to his 50 and taking his team to a very substantial total at the moment and still going on. This is not something you see frequently and he goes big, yes, obviously towards this boundary but he might be caught and Rizwan pulls it back in. He is a wonderful athlete and uh, he made sure that he caught the ball and got it back inside the boundary line and then he fell over. Maybe somebody taller maybe would have been a different story altogether had abdul samad or somebody like him being there but this one seems a wonderful effort on part of rizwan he took that cleanly and uh, in time he threw the ball back so that should be good to go the ball clearly comes out of his hand khushdil goes big very very big out of the park and raises the bat 
But this is innovative from Irfan Niazi. It may go all the way. It will still bring the half century for the big hitting right hander. It's four runs. But a very, very well played knock at a blistering pace. His second half century at this level. Well played, Irfan Niazi. He's in the groove. High full toss. He's carved it away over the head of the fielder. We still have to wait for the umpire's signal. The wheels are coming off here. Down on one knee and finds the gap. It's good innovative batting from Irfan Niazi. Once again, uh, he plays this uh, sweep of the honey, utilizes the Yorker length. into the pitch again but nothing's working and Irfan Niazi is dealing in boundaries here good, good palms big palms as well now Khushdil ramps it there you go no respite for the bowler partnership means that oh, Khushdil has slashed this this was wider but not quite the yoker length allowed Khushdil to free his arms and he will collect boundary Khushdil has gone big. He hasn't hit it cleanly. And Rizwan safe as houses. Which does not come in the radar of Khushdil. Just have a look at it. Again trying to go over mid wicket to a ball which was way outside the off stump. And top edging it. And underneath the ball was the safe hands of Rizwan. Who rarely misses them. Same ball. And there she goes. Into the crowd. And this is what we were talking about. Once more and this will be put away again. It's all too easy for Niazi at the moment. Amir Yamin is running hard. Uh, uh, Niazi says no. Amir is halfway down. It's a huge mix up. And there's a wicket. An unnecessary one there. But Niazi wanted to keep the strike. But the call should have been very loud and clear. Just have a look at it. There is no fielder in the picture when they have completed the first run. And it would have been an easy couple. Not to be, Amir Yamin, unlucky, he has to depart. He's furious, but there is nothing that he can do now. This has gone way up in the air. And over, Irfan Niazi knew from the moment he hit it. Another one, it's huge. Or is it just huge in height and has been dropped now? Yes, sir, that wasn't timed well and Samad had lots of time but not in the right position to take that. He was falling down towards the ground. To get to his 100. Just whips it onto the onside and finds the boundary. 99 to Niazi. Just one away. From a whirlwind hundred, this tall middle order batter. When Imran will start running in. And Niazi just knocks it down and will get to his hundred. What a brilliant piece of batting from Irfan Niazi. A big striking Niazi coming to the fore for Nurpur lines when they needed it the most. And takes the applause, rightly so, from every single person in this ground. Well played, Niazi. Certainly, he deserves all the appreciation for such a brilliant knock. Already a mammoth score on the board. 363. Here we go. Sajad opens the offside for himself. And will finish the innings with a flourish and with a boundary. This has been a terrific effort from the Noorpur Lions. They needed a win. And they have done a magnificent job of the first half of the game reaching to 367 for 6.